Sometime between its introduction in 1979 and today, Mercedes G-Class became a boutique item for the rich, ending up sharing garages with Lamborghinis and Bentleys from money neighborhoods from Beverly Hills to Monaco to Dubai. And for 2013, Mercedes is adding even more luxury items and more power to the G-Wagon to keep it relevant. Mercedes is quite proud the G-Wagon's bodywork hasn't changed much since it was introduced in 1979. Changes for the 2013 update are pretty minor, mainly to the SUV's bumpers, grill, lighting, and bits of trim. Also new are four AMG Sport exhausts that exit in pairs, just ahead of the G-Class's rear tires. In sharp contrast to its disco-era exterior, Mercedes has tried to modernize the 2013 G-Class's cabin. Well, as much as possible. You still sit tall in the saddle, but an all-new center console and dash design with a top mount of color screen that mimics an iPad offers a lot more okay. modern functionality. But it definitely clashes with the G-Class's retro exterior. But the lone model I got to drive here in France, the high-performance G63 AMG, is more powerful than ever before. Using a new twin-turbo 5.5-liter V8, rated at 536 horsepower and 560 pound-feet of torque, Mercedes calls this the world's most powerful standard-issue V8 twin-turbo. While those numbers may impress your neighbors, they don't exactly make the G63 drive like a performance car. I can't remember the last time our new vehicle steering, suspension, transmission, driving position, and engine were so diametrically opposed to what the driver is asking for. It's as if each of these subsystems exist in their own separate parallel universes. I guess that's what you get for strapping what is effectively a Saturn V rocket to the G's ox cart solid rear axle chassis. How much longer Mercedes-Benz can keep on selling the gas-guzzling G-Class in Western markets is yet to be seen. But in SUV-hungry emerging markets like Russia, China, and Brazil, I suspect this dinosaur from the 1970s still has a few years left in it. For the Toronto Star and Wheels.ca, I'm John LeBlanc.